I have this class called person. And uh, if I were to say, I'm just gonna give one property, which is name and name is now public. So I can say var a person is new person. And then I can say a person dot name. This is accessible. Like we discussed, this is public. So you, we looked at all the other uh, modifiers for uh, private and protected, which lets you hide how this name is accessed, whether it's only in the type or in the type and uh, types that extend it. Now there is another key uh, modifier that you can use, which is called read-only. Now let's say you wanna have name be a read-only property. Once it's set, you don't want anybody to modify it. You want it to retain the value that was set. So you can use this new modifier called read-only. And now this property becomes read-only. It cannot be changed. It can only be read. So for instance, I can do uh, a person dot name. So I can access it and say console.log. I can spell that right console.log, I can access it, but I cannot set value to it. A person dot name equals something. I cannot do this because you notice here it says it's a read only. So you cannot write to it. This is cool. But now if this is the case, how can you set a value? If you can only read it, who writes to it? You, you have to write the first time, right? So you can do something like this. Now let's say this is a string, right? I can do something like this, all right? So read-only name equals Kaushik. So I can assign a value to a read-only property at the time it's being declared. So in that case, this becomes uh, set to that value. And when I print the output, it's gonna print the value that I've assigned and I cannot change it anymore. Well, this is good, but this is not always feasible. You cannot always have an inline value. You would wanna have uh, something that's get, getting passed to the constructor the very first time, and then it becomes read-only, right? You wanna be able to set it the first time with a value that's being passed to the constructor. So that's another place in which you can assign a read-only property to a value. You can assign a read-only property in only two places. One is during the property declaration time, you can say equals something and that gets assigned, or you can assign a value to a read-only property in the constructor. Those are the only two valid places. So let's say I have a constructor here and I uh, have name, which is a string. Now I can say this dot name equals name. And here I can pass in my name. So notice what's happening here. Even though this is a read-only property, it's okay to assign, to write to it in the constructor. But then after that, I cannot write anymore. A person dot name, like we saw, cannot be assigned to a new value. It's only the very first time. So those are the two places in which you can write to a read-only value. You can initialize it. Now this works uh, with the shortcut that we have seen in the last tutorial. Rather than do this, declare a property and then do a pass through assigning constructor, you can get rid of this, you can get rid of this and say read only. This is essentially a replacement of the other syntax that you saw. It's just in one line, you're using the shortcut.